Hi, welcome to Towing Mad. And um, we're here this weekend at Silverdale at the Holgate site. It's a site we've been really looking forward to coming to for quite some time. And um, looks like there's going to be loads to see and do. Um, so yeah, we're booked in three nights, three days. Um, forecast is looking pretty good, so we're looking forward to that. Um, it's uh, just before Easter, so things are starting to get busier. I don't think the site's long open. Um, I'll put the separate uh, events and excursions that we do up on screen and uh, feel free to jump to the section that's relevant for you but we'd love you to sit back, relax and um, watch the entire video to see, where, see what we get up to on our, on our travels and our adventures. This is Silverdale in Lancashire. It's home to 1,500 inhabitants and forms part of the Arnside and Silverdale area of outstanding natural beauty. The roads to both Silverdale and Arnside are extremely narrow difficult to pass a caravan or a motorhome. This recording shows us leaving the site, but gives you an idea of what to expect on arrival. There is a train station to Silverdale and Arnside, and lots of the area is walkable. Although close by, neither Silverdale or Arnside form part of the Lake District National Park, which is just to the north. After our one and a half hour drive from Manchester, we pitched up and the kids were ready to blow off some steam. So we've got all this equipment to play on. All this to climb, and they're climbing the trees. So you see Morgan Bay from the site, it's just off in the distance, off, off at the top. We might have a walk down there shortly. So the good size pitches, this is us here on pitch E10. We've got water, TV point, electric, grey waste away. The facilities were immaculately clean, warm and smelled fresh. There were ample toilet blocks, despite the site being busy. There was an on-site laundrette, bowling alley and soft play. There was also an indoor pool, which is also used by non-residents. Elson and motorhome points and bins were provided. With little research, we found a walkable off-road trail to Silverdale. We were told it wasn't buggy friendly, but took a chance and brought it anyway. Walking across the site, we found that everything was well maintained. It was also a useful area for walking the dogs. The first part of the walk was on the road without a pavement. Across the border from Cumbria into Lancashire, past the cricket club, and we turn right towards the coast. So we're just having a little walk into Silverdale, and what you can see just over our shoulders is... Morecambe Bay. That's right. Tides out at the moment. So yeah, gonna go in, grab a pint, maybe some chips for the kids. The first part of the trail was rugged and right next to the coast. We then crossed the gates and into the field, having to lift the buggy over. What have you got there, Esme? From the top of the field, we could see the village. Just around the corner, was the Silverdale Hotel, a welcoming and cosy pub with a beer garden. Esme, what do you like most about going away in the caravan? Mummy and Daddy take us to nice places and that's why I love you. We genuinely didn't put Esme up to that, she must have just been in a good mood. We missed food at the pub, which stops at three and begins at six. The kids were happy with quavers and fruit shoots. Evelyn was exploring but didn't manage to find the polar bears. So, first couple of hours on the campsite, we've come in, we've got settled down. Um, the campsite's really well maintained. It's only um, early Easter, so all the trees are not in bloom yet. I'd imagine it would be absolutely stunning here in summer. Um, I had a lovely little walk out into Silverdale. We went to Silverdale, found a nice little, little pub there at Silverdale Hotel. And um, if you've got a motorhome or, or a camper van, ideal because you can come, you can pack up and there's things within walking distance. Um, really good first impression. It does feel like a premium campsite and it feels like it's somewhere we would definitely come back again. So good morning. It's day two, um, everyone slept well last night, everyone was tired after our walk into Silverdale. Um, we can do a walk straight off the site today, it takes us to Arnside Tower, and then from Arnside Tower we can hit Arnside Knock. 
so it should be a good walk. It's a bit overcast now, but it is forecast to be sunny, so hoping to get some nice views out of the Grange or the Sands and over Morecambe Bay. So we're just walking along the trail, and I can actually see in the distance, I don't think you'll be able to see, but we can see the tower from there. And then just on this side, this is Arnside Knot. So if we get up to the top of there, we should have a fantastic view out. It's literally just minutes off the campsite, so it's really convenient, even you know doable for small kids. So Arnside Tower was built in the second half of the 15th century and was a defensive tower. Agnes Wheeler lived in the tower until the end of the 18th century and one of the walls collapsed around 1900. Despite being in poor condition, Arnside Tower is a scheduled monument and a Grade 2 listed building. The footpath runs past the tower and down to the aptly named Arnside Tower Farm. Noise of the horses make. Yeah. Show me. Ava, what noise do the horses make? There's a gate to a path that bypasses the farmyard. What can you see, Evelyn? Chicken! What, what noise do they make? Do? The path leads to a farm lane. The lane leads directly to the base of Arnside Knot. The path up the knot is doable for seniors and kids alike, meandering up as opposed to ascending rapidly. Taking the path would have been sensible, but we scrambled up, much to the complaints of the group. So we just found an ideal place to stop. Just a small little stagger up to the summit, but as you can see right behind me there, that's Morecambe Bay. And if I turn the camera around this way, you might not be able to see with the haze, but that's the Lake District in the background. We followed our noses until we found the trig point. The kids did really well. So, just come down from the trig point at Arnside Knot, uh, following the purple trail down back to uh, Holgate's, Silverdale. Uh, just over, just on, just here, you can just see Arnside Tower. That's where we're going, back down to that working farm along that path. Yeah, very manageable, even the young kids, even my three-year-old managed it, so uh, definitely doable for young kids. The views were spectacular and well worth the hike. Despite the long hike, it still had energy to burn. You a monkey? Yeah. Is this your house? Yeah. Give me a big smile, Ava. After the day's hike, we were all ready to sit down on the veranda and all ravenously hungry. Ice cream for the kids, two pints of Wainwright for me. So, just a reception now. As you can see, the weather is absolutely glorious. If you do arrive, make sure you pull back a little bit. Don't go straight up to the barrier because you'll have to check in. So you see quite a few caravans pulling up and then having to reverse up a little bit. The kids had a second wind so onto the playground before going back to the caravan. We soaked up the rays for a few hours, then decided to go out. Clearly Natalie did the driving. We decided to go to Arnside for the sunset. It was gorgeous. There was a couple of pubs, ice cream shop, and a really popular fish and chip shop. This was one of the highlights of the trip away. The 
kids played in the sand, the sun was setting, it felt really peaceful. The pier was rebuilt by the council in 1983-84 at a cost of 25000 After a walk around, we found our appetites again and decided to go for fish and chips. The Arnside Chippy was really good, although long queues with limited frying times, it's advisable to download the app and do a click and collect. So, day three. Um, we're all a bit sad to be going today. We've had an absolutely fantastic time, but we're still going to make the most of today. So I think we're going to hit um, Eve's Wood, maybe go see the old disused canyon, um, go swimming in the afternoon and then uh, pack the van, get the kids back. Um, pay for the extra night, but um, I think we'll just leave tonight and then uh, that means everyone's in their own beds. Um, we can get back and get the kids straight down to bed. So last day in Silverdale, Arnside, let's make the most of it. We decided to hit Troll Barrel, the old disused quarry. So we're currently at Troll Barrel. This is an old quarry, disused quarry. Right behind me here, this is called the Shelter Stone. Because while they were blasting the uh, limestone out of the quarry, when they put the dynamite in, they'd hide behind the Shelter Stone. You kept a keen eye, but sometimes you have to let kids be kids. It's exactly what I would have done. Parking was easy and it kept the kids busy for a while. Having done so much walking, we drove here because the kids were tired, but it's definitely walkable from Silverdale. After this, we decided to go back and chill out at the site. She still loves me. We've had a fantastic weekend in Silverdale and Arnside. Um, really recommend coming here to, uh, to, to Holgate. Fantastic facilities, spotlessly clean, you know, immensely well managed, um, great location. Um, yeah, really fantastic weekend. So we'll definitely come back here, um, maybe next year. Um, lots of other places to see this year yet, but um, definitely a site that we recommend. So all that's left to say is we've been towing mad. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to um, hit the um, like and subscribe button and um, we'll see you in the next one.